Hey everybody, let's take a step back from the family friendly RPG game, an adventure that FNAF World is, and come back to the horror RPG game of It Moves. Hello everybody, my name is Catman Chief, and welcome back to It Moves. Last time we left off with horrifying fish, tor stories about fears and jellyfish in the water. Um. We just go into a Sarlacc pit. Yeah, we went into a Sarlacc pit. What if it was asleep? It hadn't so much as breathed since I had woken up. Perhaps it was resting, believing that it had finally got me. That I was finally in its grasp. Or perhaps it was toying with me after all this. After all, it had been doing just that for countless nights. And now with me under it. Pinned against my mattress with no other to protect me, maybe it was holding off. Savoring its victory until the last possible moment. Like a wild, a wild animal savoring its prey. I tried to breathe as shallowly as possible, and mustering every ounce of courage I could. I reached over slowly with my right hand and began to peel the blanket off me. What I found under those covers almost stopped, stopped my heart. I did not see it, but my hand moved. The, as my hand moved the blanket, it had brushed against something, something smooth and cold. Something which felt unmistakably like a gaunt hand. I held my breath in terror as I was sure it must now know it. Must now have known that I was awake. Nothing. I did not stir. It felt dead. After a few moments, I placed my hand carefully further down the blanket, and then and felt a thin, poorly formed forearm. My confidence and almost twisted sense of fear and curiosity grew. Oh, well, twisted sense of curiosity grew as I moved down further to dis. Uh, to a disproportionately larger bicep muscle, the arm was outstretched lying across my chest, with the hand resting on my left shoulder as if, as if it had grabbed me in my sleep. I realized that I would have to move this cadaverous appendage if I even so much as a hope to escape its grasp. For some reason, the feeling of torn ragged clo clothing on the shoulder of this nighttime invader stopped me in my tracks. Fear once again swelled in my stomach and I, and in my chest as I recalled my hand in disgust at the touch of strangled, oily hair. I could not bring myself to touch its face, although I would. Wa I wonder to this very day what it would have felt like. Dear God, it moved. Hostia, chapter seven, Hostia. I wonder how many chapters there are. Like I said, I wonder, I don't know how many chapters there are. Save. Oh. Wow, I'm small. Um. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. 
last time that there shall be the last time that shall be destroyed is death. Huh. I'm not in any danger here. I mean. Oh. And having once chosen never to seek to return the crossroads of that decision, for even if one chooses wrongly, the choice cannot be unmade. At the crossroads. At a crossroads in life, what does one do? Stand at the crossroads if you will, but if you will not choose, I'll move on without you. These guys. Maybe I'm supposed to go back? Ah. They're both electrical tower things. Subtle, but it's gripping my shoulder and across my body. It's uh, I don't know why I was shaking that. I'm so sorry, guys. No tears came, but God, how I wanted to cry. As it, as its hand and arm slowly coiled around me, my left leg brushed along the cool wall which the bed lay against. Of all that that happened to me in that room, this was the strangest. I realized that this clutching, rancid thing which drew great delight from violating a young boy's bed was not entirely on top of me. It was sticking out from the wall with a spider striking from its lair. Suddenly, its grip moved from a slow tightening to a sudden squeeze. It pulled its and pulled and clawed at my clothes as, as if frightened that the opportunity would soon pass. I fought against it, but its emancipated arm was too strong for me. Its head rose up with Writhing, writhing and contorting under the blanket. I now realized where it was taking me, into the wall. I fought for dear, fought for my dear life. I cried and suddenly my voice returned to me, yelling, screaming, but no one came. Then I realized why I was so eager to suddenly strike, why this thing had to have me now, through my window. 
that window which seemed to represent so much malice from outside. It streaked hope, the first race of sunshine. I struggled, struggled further knowing that I could just hold on, it would soon be gone. I fought for my life, the unearthly parasite shifted, slowly pulling itself up from my chest. Its head was now poking out from poking out from underneath the blanket, wheezing, coughing, coughing, rasping. I do not remember its features. I simply remember its breath against my face, foul and as cold as ice. As the sun broke over the horizon, that dark place, that suffocating room of contempt, was washed, bathed in, bathed in suddenly. I passed out as its scrawny fingers encircled my neck, squeezing the very life from me. Is that it? I awoke to my father offering to make me bre some breakfast. A wonderful sight indeed. I had survived the most horrible experience of my life until then and now. I moved the bed away from the wall, leaving behind the furniture that I had believed would stop that thing from taking a bed. Little did I think it would try to t take me mine and me. Weeks passed without incident, yet on one cold, frostbitten night I awoke to the sounds of the furniture where the bunk used to be vibrating violently. I lay there sure I could hear a distant wheezing sound coming deep from f within the wall, finally fading into the distance. The following year, I was given a larger room on the other side of the house, and my parents took that room as their bedroom. They said they didn't need a large room, just one big enough for a bed and a few things. They lasted ten days. We moved on to the eleventh. Is that it? Is it over? Music by Material Emerd Emerda Frozen something. LZN02 Lizard Dino. That's it. Oh my god. Based on the story Bedtime by Michael Whitehouse. Playtesting by Optical Mouse. Scripts by Mug Mug Hunter, Yezim Murai, something, 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 something. Oh. The end. Woo! That was a good game. That was a good game. I have to admit, that was a good game. <coughs> yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. It moves has been great. I rate this game 10 out of 10 out of Just kidding, I'm not rating it. But, yeah. I, I, I might go rate it on Game Joel, but, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a great game. And, yeah. So, Chief out.